Hi everybody, my name is Marcela Dominguez and today I am going to share with you my number one tip and trick to securing a registered trademark. Now I want you to follow this video very closely because I know that if you're watching, you really, really, really want to be the owner of a registered trademark and you want to be holding that registered trademark certificate or you wanna hang it up on your wall so that you can look at it and remind yourself that you are an entrepreneur in the making and that you're gonna create a successful business, you're gonna be a successful Amazon seller or whatever the case might be for you. So if you want to have a successful clothing brand, if you wanna have a successful e-commerce shop, then more likely than not, you are going to need a registered trademark at some point during the life of your business. So today I'm going to share with you my number one trick. Let's dive right in, right? You're asking, what is it? What's the secret? And I will tell you that the biggest issue that I have with clients sometimes is that they come to me and they say, I want to register this trademark. And I see that the words are either very generic. It's a very descriptive trademark. And it's something that I don't think has high chances or a high likelihood of securing a registered trademark. So my advice is always choose a name that is super unique. If it doesn't make sense, great. If nobody knows what it means upon hearing it, even better. And that, my friends, is the way to know whether or not you have a winner on your hands. Because the number one problem on that USPTO database is that there can be a lot of conflicting trademarks with people that use very commonly used words or phrases, some that are found in the English dictionary. So if it's found in the English dictionary, chances are that a lot of people are trying to use it. And I don't mean use it standing alone, but I mean using it in combination with other words to form either a long slogan or to increase the size of the business name such that there are three words to the business name. So if you can choose something that's really, 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 really unique, then I suggest you do that because the odds of someone else having that name is very, very small. Now, if you want an in-depth understanding of how to choose that name and how to register that mark, then I really encourage you to head down to the URL below because I offer a course just on choosing the name. You see, people who file DIY trademark applications, they don't know this secret. And if they don't know this secret, chances are that they might mess up the application or they might mess up the name choosing name selection process. So in order to avoid all that problematic stuff that might come up for you, I would rather you take this course, how to choose a name, one likely to get registered and head down to the URL below. Because if you still plan on filing this application on your own, you should at least be armed with this secret that I am sharing with you. And that is that you choose a very unique name one that no one else will be using, one that no one else has heard of. So head to the URL below where I explain in depth how to choose this name and I give you ideas and I walk you through it and it's so simple and easy to understand. So if you like this video, make sure that you also click on the link below so that you can understand how to choose that name and how to apply it in your application and to have me help you walk through that process. Also hit the subscribe button if you like this video and you know that it helped you because you will be updated with more videos that I add to this channel and leave a comment down below if all this made sense to you. Just leave an exclamation mark letting me know that you need more videos like this to help you either do your DIY trademark application or because you are ready to have a law firm like ours help you through your journey. I encourage you to keep going and I'm so excited for your business endeavors and reach out to us at lawfirm at marcellatm.com if you have any other questions. We look forward to hearing from you today and every day. Have a great day.